Welcome to this new video. Today I want to show you how you use inpainting with Stable Cascade in ComVY. I have to admit I did already a video on this, but I used not the optimized inpainting control net, so the results were not as good as with this workflow. But at this time I did the last inpainting video for Stable Cascade. That was all there was. But now we have everything integrated into ComfyUI. No special custom nodes needed. And I will walk you through the optimized workflow with an optimized in painting model. All models are linked in the description below. Let's start. In this workflow, I use the in painting control net to exchange the armor of this female warrior from a more or less white armor to a black one. And everything you need, I will show you in this video. I start with the apply control net advanced node. and connect the control net we use the special stable cascade in painting model you have to download this on the stable cascade hugging face page i will link it in the description below we need a base image so let's use the basic load image node and now it gets a little bit tricky. We need the stable cascade in paint node. I had really big problems to find this node in the menu or search for it. And I was only able to extract it from previous workflow. I don't know if this is a bug or if it is something else. I will link this workflow in the description below. So if you have this problem, you can download this workflow. So you will have this note. Yeah, let me know if you have problems with this. So it's called Stable Cascade in Paint. There is also a Stable Cascade in Paint CNET note, but this note also gave me not the results I wanted. It's really strange. Uh, there is this CNET note here but not the stable cascade in paint. So let's connect the image to the image, mask to mask, and now we can connect the image to the control net advanced node. Then we need our prompts, positive and negative. We need to load the checkpoint, connect both prompts. And here we need to select stable cascade stage C model. You have to download it. In the last video, I already said that I had some old stable cascade models and I got some error messages, but now they seem to be updated and should work now. So if you're getting some problems with your models, that might be the reason. So download the updated versions. I will link them below. Okay. Now we need a case sampler. Connect the positive and the negative prompt. Can connect the model. And there is a special stable cascade empty latent image node. We will keep those settings for now. Now, this is stage C and we need to prepare this for our stage B. For this, we take the stable cascade stage B conditioning. We connect the stage C. And we need to connect the positive prompt. The last video I made the mistake uh, that I connected the positive output of the apply control net node to this conditioning input that gave me some VRAM errors. So be sure to connect the 
original prompt. Then we need our stage B case sampler. The negative prompt input is the original negative prompt. Don't use the output of the apply control net node. We need another model. Use stable cascade B here. And we have to connect the stage B output of our latent image node. Now we need a simple decode. And we need our safe image node. So what you see here, this is the image I generated with the stable cascade in paint CNET node. And um, yeah, you see somehow the mask is the wrong resolution and it's all shifted somehow. So this is, uh, yeah, this is the old image in the cache. Okay, so for the actual in paint workflow, we need to draw our mask or to load a mask. In this case, I will draw a mask on the Comfy Shop. Right click on the image and choose Open Comfy Shop. I like to use a big brush to cover all the most big areas of the image. And afterwards, we'll do the details with a smaller, smaller brush. It can really make a difference if you work with really detailed, especially in the areas, in this case, around the neck or the head. If you work really exact there, it will look much better in the end. So to scale the brush, you can simply turn your mouse wheel. If you want to delete an area, simply push your right mouse button and draw over your brush and this will delete the area. So the arm. You can also load uh, your mask from Photoshop or Blender or whatever you like for image manipulation. Okay, that should do it for now. It's only for showing how it works. Save the mask and now as a last fragment we need a prompt. In this case, I choose portrait of a female soldier, cyber warrior, wearing a black suit with a future theme and metal parts. As a negative prompt, I choose text and watermark to exclude those. Okay. Let's see. That should be it. We might have to adjust the steps and the CFG values. Oh, let's do it now. So here I like to take 10 and 1 for the CFG. And here I like to change the CFG to 4. Mm, let's give it a try. Okay. So that looks quite promising. Let's do another one. Okay, what you see here, the hand is not really great and there are some parts which are not as good. Maybe we can also, we could also change the steps and the CFG values to, to make the armor look a little bit better. Try around with those settings. 
really depends on the prompt as well as on the base image and the mask you choose. Let me know if you had problems with this stable cascade in paint node in the comments. Not sure if it is my browser. I'm I'm using Chrome on Linux or if this is a comfy UI problem. So let me know. I will put the link to the workflow into the description. So if you have problems, you can simply download this workflow and change it to your needs. So yeah, this is the optimized stable cascade control net workflow for in painting. Hope to see you soon again. Goodbye.